is Stacy with McClendon Homestead and I have Madeline, my daughter, here tonight with me and we are going to show y'all how to make pineapple jam. So to start off with, you want two cans of the crushed pineapples, the big cans, and that makes four cups of pineapples and then you want to add two more cups of water. So six cups in all. And then you will add 12 tablespoons of pectin, which equals two boxes. And 12. So you're going to stir that up real good if you want to stir that. I'll go ahead and cut the pot on. So now we're going to add it into the pot. Okay, so now if you will add a tablespoon of butter to it, it will keep it from foaming up on the top so you don't have so much to scrape off before you can it. So we're just going to cut this up to bring it to a bowl. I'm going to stir that butter in real good. And while this is coming to a bowl, Madeline will show you what we use to can. Okay, so this is the tool to get your jars out of the water. This is the tool to measure your jam into the jars. This is a magnet tool to pull your seals out of the water. And this is the funnel to put your jam into the jar without splashing. <clears throat> so we got this bowl in now. So we are going to add the sugar. Mallon? Okay, so this is six cups of sugar. And just pour that all in and you're going to stir it very well. Get it all blended in. And then after we get it all mixed up, we are going to let it come to a hard bowl and then bowl for one minute. Also, if you was wondering <coughs> what all these jars were right here, on our uh, previous video, it was blackberry jam. So you should go watch it. Okay, right, so this has come to a hard bowl that you can't stir down. So we are going to set the timer to one minute. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and start taking our jars out and placing them on the counter to start <coughs> filling. And you also want to make sure you don't allow the jars to cool because if you put that jam in and the jar is cooled down, then you it could possibly crack. <clears throat> so this has bowled for one minute. And I'm going to take it off and place it over here to fill my jars. So what you do is you take the funnel and you stick it in your jar, your hot jar, like that. <clears throat> and then you're going to start filling. Now, I like to fill mine to the first thread right here. Because that leaves enough room for it to seal properly. So... You want to fill it just like that. And then you go to your next one. So then, after I get these filled, I will pass them to Madeline and she will show y'all how to clean the tops of them with vinegar. Okay, we had enough to fill five pints, so now I'm going to take my paper towel and dip it in the vinegar 
And then I'm going to clean right around here. Make sure there's nothing on there. You have to clean them because um, because they won't seal. Take your magnet. Make sure not not to touch the middle of them because that will break the <coughs> seal. Just like that. Place them on the top, and when you screw the lids on, you only want them finger tight. You don't want to put a lot of force into it. You don't want to over tighten them while they seal in the water bath canner. So now after, They're so really now hot. after we get the lids on, we can place them back into the water bath canner. And when you get them in the water bath canner, you're going to bring it back up to a bowl and you're going to let it uh, boil for 10 minutes to seal them. Okay, so we are placing the cans in the water bath canner and we're just going to put the lid back on and Wait for that to come to a bowl, and then we will set the timer to 10 minutes. All right, so now these have boiled for 10 minutes. So we are going to take them out, put, set them on the towel. Just like this. And we're going to leave them without pressing the seals on top uh, for 12 to 24 hours. Keep that warm for the next batch. And there you have it, pineapple jam. There will be more jam and jelly <coughs> videos in the future. Make sure you go watch our previous one with the blackberry jam. And please like, subscribe, and turn on your post, post notifications. And we appreciate everybody that watches our channel, and we appreciate all our fans. And God bless. God bless.